How's it going, Kaysen? Uh With the offensive line play last week, you guys obviously gave up zero sex. Was there anything different you guys did in preparation, or were things the same? Um, so one thing that uh, our coach Lonnie preaches on is the work is the magic. So, so I think we really, really put it together this week. So I think we're fire, firing on all cylinders as an offensive line. Um, we really played together. And a lot of kudos to Lenoris for being as, as elusive as he is. And the offense really meshed together really well. And I think a great week of practice translates to a great played game. For you personally, you had two years with, with some injuries. Now you're healthy. You've played the whole season. How would you evaluate your season just as an, as an individual so far? Um, I would say that I'm getting better every week, and I think that's to be expected when I'm a, I'm a younger guy. Like, technically, I haven't really played that much because I've been plagued by injuries. Um, I'm still learning a lot from the older guys in the room and obviously from Coach Teasley, and I'm just taking it week by week, and I'm trying to be as much of a sponge as I can with everybody around me and just get better week to week and start and put that on tape. Uh, the offensive line, um, A&M had that point in that game where they led, but then you guys shut them down completely mm -hmm. in the second half. How were you guys able to kind of contain that really good A&M line, defensive line, and how do you plan to bring that to Vandy this week? Um, so I think the key for that is uh, complimentary football. So our defense was balling out, and they were giving us stops, and the offense was going out and rolling, and we weren't giving their defensive line much of a break. Um, so I think we ended up just overpowering them like that. And they're a really, really, really skilled and really talented defensive line. You've got a lot of NFL players on that defensive line. And I think we were just rolling in that game. And we just blew them off the ball as, as the game got you know, went on. And I think that the same mentality needs to bring to Vandy. Vandy's a really, really good team this year. They've got a really skilled defensive line. They've got great linebackers. And we need to bring the exact same mentality that we had last week into this game to be successful. Hey, Kaysen, um do you see what's going on with you guys right now playing so well as you are mm -hmm. as kind of a continuation that all season or is there something going on different? And do you ever think, boy, if we could have closed out those couple of games, where would we be, you know, we'd be competing for an SEC title and a spot in the playoffs? Yeah. Um, those, those losses early in the season definitely hurt, um, but I think they were necessary for us to grow as we have. And I think they were an important step that our entire team took, not even just the offensive line. I think that we needed to get punched in the mouth early like that and to kind of wake us up because uh, we were, we, then we realized how good of a team we were and we needed to just put it all together. Like Coach Beamer says, just complimentary football, put it all together. And I think it's been a very, like a very nice building process over this entire season. I think we needed those losses. I don't, I don't like that we lost, obviously. I'm not saying that, that. But I think that it was healthy for us to lose like that early in the season so we could put it all together in the back half. Your group had had some struggles this year, especially with the sack numbers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there, there's people on the outside that say whatever. But when you walk off the field against Texas A&M, having just, you know, manhandled the number 10 team and gotten the upset, what was the offensive line like meeting like that night? Like, what was it like when you guys huddled in the locker room being like, damn, we did that? Well, one of our keys this uh, A&M week was leave no doubt. And I don't think we left any doubt on the field um, when we came to play. And I think that we had all our keys. Um, we had all our like plan to win was everything. We did everything our plan to win. And I think that allowed us to win. Um, you don't even like, it's not a guarantee that you'll win either. It just gives you a chance to go take care of it in the first, in the fourth quarter. And I think that we were able to do that. And obviously Lonnie was very happy for us and we felt really good as a group on that, but we flushed that this week and we're on to Vandy now because Vandy is a really, really talented team and we're ready to go compete. Sorry. You know, going off that, what is the, like, what's the difference in confidence between start of the year going through the middle of the season and then now and you know where, where do you feel like the next step is for you guys as an offensive line heading into this week um i think confidence is something you build over the weeks and it's not something you you really start with like we have new guys we had new guys coming in at the end of uh, the beginning of the year and we had to learn how to play together and i think that that's really served us well over the like playing a bunch of really really good teams in the front half and obviously we've got some good teams in the back half too but now we know how to play together we know how each other plays and we're able to mesh together better as an offensive line, and we get better week to week. Kaysen, you mentioned earlier that Vandy's a much improved team. Is it hard when for some people to th think of Vandy like that instead of as what they've been much of their time in the SEC? You know, they've struggled to kind of compete at the top. Yeah, so in the past, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't like to think about the past in teams when we play. Um, 
because every team has struggles. You know, we've been struggling in the last couple of years, and we're putting it together now. But we haven't been here. We haven't been there in the last couple of years. The past does not matter with Vanderbilt. They're a great team this year. They've got a great quarterback, great defensive line, great defense, and we have to bring the exact same kill hunt mentality that we did to AM to this game to even have a chance to win in the fourth quarter. It's going to be a hard fought battle. It's going to be physical, and that's the game that we like to play. And we will, you know, get it to the fourth quarter and see what happens to give us a chance to win. Uh, what was film like watching the six, seven times Lenora somehow scrambled out of a sack? Um, yeah, he's he is a hell of a player. Excuse my language. Um, all respect to him. You know, I love my quarterback, and I'm going to protect him with my life. Um, he's a great player, and I just said after the game, I was like, thanks, man, because we wouldn't have had zero sacks if you hadn't been Superman out there and eluded three or four guys on one play. I, I saw somewhere he had like an 80% miss rate on his tackles. That's elite, and it was it was really impressive to me. Like um, just watching him out there, like you know, I'd, I'd block my guy, and then he'd be making three or four people miss downfield, and I was like, this guy's crazy. You know what I mean? But it's definitely a joy to block for him. Uh, this week, some Gamecock fans were maybe a little disappointed that uh, South Carolina didn't get a national ranking, yeah. top twenty-five ranking, and Vanderbilt did. Was that? Would yeah. you say that's any more motivation to go into Nashville and kind of prove that you? can compete with anybody mm -hmm. um I th yeah for the ranking stuff we don't really put too much um into that um we're just keeping the main thing the main thing we just got to play complimentary football the rankings are people's opinions and the ap poll or whatever um whatever the only opinion that matters is inside this building for us and we should have to have good practices this week and we'll go prove ourselves on saturday whatever happens happens we just got to play our best ball Case, and I know you missed some time over the last two years, but kind of when you guys beat Tennessee in 22, what was kind of the the, the vibe, the message to stay focused on the task at hand? Because obviously you guys are in a similar situation where you're coming off a big win and now you're going on the road and playing another really good team. Mm -hmm. Well, you've seen teams that get good wins and then they kind of relax going into the next week no matter who they're playing. And I don't think that we're that kind of team. Um, I think that we bring it every week. And I'm really proud of my teammates, obviously, for having that mindset. And I think Vanderbilt's the same way. I think they came off a of, like, really, really good win at Alabama, and they're bringing it every week. And I think it's going to be a really physical game. And I think that we really need to bring it this week to have success. Thank you, Thank you ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you all.